The story begins with a young Peter Parker, walking with Uncle Ben and Aunt May on a peaceful, sunny day. They're out for a leisurely stroll in the neighborhood when they notice a man sitting on the sidewalk, looking worn and desperate, begging for money. As soon as Uncle Ben sees the man, he compassionately takes out a dollar from his wallet and hands it to Peter, asking him to give it to the man. Peter, feeling a bit puzzled, asks Uncle Ben, didn't you say earlier that you didn't have enough money to pay the phone bill? Uncle Ben smiles warmly, but before he can answer, Aunt May interjects with a reassuring tone, saying, we'll manage, Peter. So, Peter, with a heart full of empathy, lovingly gives the money to the man, who looks up with gratitude and relief, his eyes sparkling with hope. Peter then, with the innocence of youth, asks a very genuine question, one that many of us might have asked our own parents at some point, what if he uses the money for something bad? Uncle Ben, with a thoughtful expression, responds, I don't know what he'll do with it, but I do know that he needed it. This moment leaves a lasting impression on Peter, teaching him the importance of compassion and responsibility. The scene then shifts to the present day, where another man is sitting on the cold, hard sidewalk, looking weary and defeated, begging for money. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a thug appears and, with a heartless grin, kicks the beggar's basket, sending coins scattering everywhere. The thug, filled with cruelty, begins attacking the beggar viciously. He crushes the beggar's hand under his boot and kicks him hard in the stomach, snarling, you can't sit here. Just as the thug is about to strike again, Spider-Man swings in heroically, landing with perfect precision, and knocks him down with a quick flick of his webbing. Spider-Man, with a stern yet compassionate look, tells the thug, leave him alone. I don't pick on those weaker than me. The thug, terrified and bewildered, asks, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be fighting the big monsters in the city? Ignoring the question with a light-hearted quip, Spider-Man says, why are you running? Is there a sale in the market? With swift and effortless movements, Spider-Man trips the thug with his webbing, ensuring he can't harm the beggar any further. After securing the thug, Spider-Man turns his attention to the beggar, who is still shaken and in pain. Spider-Man helps him gather his scattered coins, carefully placing them back into his basket. With genuine concern, Spider-Man asks, It's going to be very cold tonight. Do you have somewhere safe to sleep? The beggar, with a hint of sorrow in his voice, replies, Look at me. Do you think I have anywhere to go? Hearing this, Spider-Man's heart aches with empathy. He then reaches into his suit and pulls out a card, handing it to the beggar. I know a place where you can stay. They have warm walls and a solid roof. They'll take care of you, Spider-Man says, offering hope and kindness. Well I personally like this story very much as it shows the true innocence and pure heartedness of the character of Spider-Man and the things he does for poor people tell me your opinion about it do you think that the parenting of Uncle Ben and Aunt May had a positive effect on Spider-Man or not? Share your thought below in the comments. You can also watch the full collaboration of Justice League and Avengers to fight a villain and you can also watch when Spider-Man cheats on his girlfriend. Thank you. Please be sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more.